Big Low Gross, also known, as, <laughs> also known as Big Papa Skeeta, and it's Big Mama Neezy here, y'all. We got Big Baby and London. Nene, and Nene. In London. <laughs> <laughs> no, she Just said and Neezy. Uh huh, she said Neezy. But I said in right. London. Yeah, y'all. So we have been this thing. It's another episode of the Skeetor. Happy Wednesday. Um, Happy. She about to steal the show this week. Oh yeah, um, and up. rightfully so because she she was the first topic that we had for y'all anyway because exactly. she's running around now. She's literally running the house. Oh yeah, she's the boss. She is the big baby boss. Yeah, like before it was like we had her in the playpen, then we had her like in the little area, like in the uh, in the living room, uh -huh. like next to the couch, and you can kind of fence her in with the playpen. But now she's like, no, no, nope. I want to be out. And so she's just running around all over the. Just apartment. gotta close the doors and let her go. And try to barricade the hallway to the other rooms and stuff like it's just. Like, yeah. It's crazy. It's full on baby madness up in here. I, I feel like we we early into the terrible twos though because like you'll look at her and tell her like hey, don't do that. And she says. And she'll look no. at you and be like don't do this and then do it. And then she says no. no. And she points at you says no. no. Yeah, y'all here. So, so here's the thing though. Does that mean she's a gangster? Like, would you say she's a gangster? Like, because I just feel like, because part of she me, she fears nothing. I, I, part of me is like, uh, I'm not even mad at it because, like, you want her to like have that fearlessness and, and have that like independence and that that boss like mentality. But it's like, if I tell you to do something, man, like, I'm gonna need for you to like cooperate. But she'd be like, no. Exactly. Like I she told her before, she was trying to, like, she almost fell one time and I was trying to like, like help her up. She brushed my hands off. Hey, don't touch me, bro. She's good at that, like, uh, don't touch yeah, me. No, 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 don't don't touch do me. it. Don't touch it. And it's not, it's not a, it's not like, oh my god, it's just like a, a straight up, just like hand swipe, like she playing football or something. She trying to like. She just did you like that when we was just walking. Yeah. She, she was like, let my hand go. I know how to walk by myself. And he like, no, I gotta hold your hand. And she's like, yeah. then did the spin on him, spent off, was like, ah, ah, don't touch she, me. She's slick. She's yeah. slicker. <laughs> she's slicker than a can of oil. Man, you gotta watch her. She okay. is. Bye. See? Then she says mine. That's her other. This thing. Is gonna be a short episode. No week. mine. Because London's not having it. London, hey, hurry she up wouldn't even go to podcast. sleep. She was like, yeah, no, I know what y'all trying to do. Hurry not up. Not tonight. Hurry up. <laughs> now. Hurry up. See? See? Hurry up. See? All right. Well, I definitely can't cut this episode. Bye. <laughs> well, let's get this on out the way. Here. Bye. Thank you, Scentbox, for sponsoring this podcast. And again, for all you guys out there, Scentbox is a designer <sighs> fragrance subscription service. Scentbox. Sign up today and you get to choose from over 650 designer fragrances and you get them delivered right to your door. London says Scentbox. Say Scentbox. <laughs> She's Don't whispering. whisper it. Say, Say Scentbox. Oh yeah, okay. She wants to whisper. Right. And also <laughs> shout out to Urban Hydration. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring our podcast also. Yes. And again, you guys on YouTube, you don't know, Urban Hydration is a black owned skincare company. Love black people. Link will be in the description. Black and man. also if you've been following me on Instagram, you have seen my videos that I have made. And I have been getting compliments on my skin all oh, the yes. time. Everybody's Glowing. like, oh, your skin is just so it's beautiful. It's just dashing. I have been using Urban Hydration. And um, YouTube, I know you guys on the podcast know, but YouTube, follow me on Instagram. You guys will see my next video. I will be doing the pink clay mask. So, Urban Hydration, sign up today. And also, yo, I got my sponsorships too. So y'all out there, y'all make sure y'all sign up for California Wine Club. I don't know if Nisa's gonna put that link Yay! in this description, but you can still sign up anyway, or you can follow Yay! me. On Instagram <laughs> at Skeet Gross, all one word, first name last name, Skeet Gross, and then click the link in my bio, and then you can sign up to a California Wine Club. Every month they will send you two bottles of wine, so you can get two reds, like how I do. You can get a red and a white, or you can get two whites. It's up to you. Sign up, California Wine Club, and I don't have a catchy sound effect, but I'll just use this one. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. You, you yeah. can sign up now for two bottles of wine. Join today. California Wine Club today, today, today. Some today. Wine. Boop, 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 boop. No, 21 and up. <laughs> Must be 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 21 and up. 21 and up, y'all. I forgot to thank you. The legal department on my on my tail. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Um, 
do. Yeah. So it's good that we're on the same page because this episode is about divorce. <laughs> oh, no. Not to laugh, though. The way that you came in, it hey. was hot. I'm, I gotta be hot because London says, hurry up. Um, I, uh, so one of the twins from no. Tia and Tamara, which, which one is Tia. this? Tia. The one that's married to... Uh, Corey Hart. Is it Hardwick? The dude, the, the, the dude that's played... He's young. No, he's old, but they got him playing the young dude and everything. Yeah. Like, bro, he always playing like the shiesty gangster man. Like, mm-hmm. like he always played that role. He played it in the Tupac movie as like Haitian Jack. Mm-hmm. He played um, in uh, the Shy. He played yeah. that role. But he don't be. He's not believable in those roles, though. You know why not? Because it just doesn't seem like his character. He do, he doesn't have That's good like, acting. Yeah, yeah, it is good acting. You can tell like, hey, he went to a good acting school. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or he just must really just be like a shysty gangster man, and that's why he get a divorce. <laughs> well, you never know. But you followed them and like kind of like they brand and how they were together. So what what was this kind of yeah? So you know, and I even have her cookbooks. Um, oh, really? Funny, hilarious. But yeah, so honestly, looking like through their story, you, it, and then even when they had their little show, uh, the T and Tamara had their show, their reality TV show. It really seemed like. Tia and um, Corey was like really, really happy. And again, they probably were. Back then, they were really, probably really, really happy. It's just um, whatever's been going on in their their recent years. Mm -hmm. But she did make the post. She was the one like, um, I like to tell my fans up front. And Corey and I have decided to part ways. And I said, what? Oh, no. You know, it's one of those when you, one of your celebrities that you do watch and follow a lot, and then she's been hot on TikTok and Instagram, been doing all of her memes and everything. You see, like, how she see where she's going and, like, everything that she's been doing with her TikTok and her Instagram, and it's cool, you know? Mm -hmm. But then all of the, the memes and quotes and stuff start rolling in, like, where's your husband? Where's your ring? You know, some people always catch that. I never really paid attention to that part. But then, um, like the last past couple weeks, they started pulling up her her and Corey's Black Love episode. And Mm -hmm. showing like, look, look how he was cutting her off because he was talking and then she was going to interject and say something. He's like, wait, I'm still talking and like did her like that. But what's wrong with that though? Like he should be able to finish his point. He should be able to Some finish people are point. different. I, I didn't see. He's not letting a woman be heard. It's not like he heard. just shut her up. He just was like, I wasn't done, you know? Yeah. He, like he that. could be fighting for his space. That could be something that she don't never let him get a word out. And he it like, could hey. Because I do that all the time. I'm like, I'm not finished. Yeah. Like, I, you can finish when I'm done. Like, exactly. That pause wasn't versa. a pause for you to jump in. That was a pause for me to, like, catch my breath. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, but again, these are celebrities. We never really know the full story there. Right. We just know that she said they decided to part ways and that they're still going to be co-parenting. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we're going to see him still in the shy doing whatever he's doing. We're going to continue. I don't to see think her. he's going to be on the shy. <laughs> so, at least he's going to be on All American Homecoming. Is he still the coach? Last I seen, you know, the new season hasn't started. They're going to kill him off. They're going to find a way. The coach got beat in the <laughs> head with a baseball bat. Like, we come up with wild you know, stuff, bro. So, I mean, it's one of those, again, you know, I like my celebrity information and drama, but I don't go too deep into it because I really don't, you know, you don't know these people. Yeah. So you just know what they're posting on social media. Right. For all we know, she's beating on him. <laughs> Right. Well, you laughing at domestic violence? Shame on you. Not, Shame I'm not. I'm not. Anybody but, who's suffering from domestic then, violence, you, know, you call that number. We don't have it here, but you can look it up. But you know, also social media is always going to have their their spectators because some somebody was like, he That's cheated on her. So you never know. Then they going around looking for the person that that he cheated on her with. Uh huh. They just making people up. Exactly. Hey, you think it was somebody from All American Homecoming? <gasps> Probably so. Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe it was the girl from the shy. Oh no. <laughs> um. um <laughs> that's funny. What's not funny though is um the fact that they're getting a divorce, man. I think that that, that it's always tough. After fourteen years though, you know, it's yeah. like that's tough. And especially when you got kids, and by all means, I'm not the one that says, you know, just tough it out because you gotta see 
what actually is going on. You really got to know the ends and the outs. Yeah, outfit. because some stuff you can't tough out. Like, if he beating on her or she beating on him or something, like, there's no need to, to stick around in that. And, and there, I do believe that there is a possibility of people outgrowing people, especially with yes. these celebrities, right? It is. They it, Because they're under more of a magnifying glass and I think, too, more access as well, too. So, like, they can, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm about to just go off and do this. Exactly. They can. So... And, and, and you, you never want to see it, but like sometimes it could be for the for the best. You know what I'm saying? It, it could be for the betterment of their relationship that, that they better off that way. We see somebody like The Rock who got a divorce from his wife, and they business partner still, and they exactly. and they business has gone up year after year. Year just after like they year. own that the XFL now. So, I, I, it, it's, it's their personal thing. Exactly. Um. Yeah. No, I was, I was gonna, still talking. I was going to piggyback off of that because, again, like that ties into since we're talking about divorce, we found out Tom Brady and Call his me. wife is getting a Call divorce. Me. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a little bit so they saying stuff, but they're not saying stuff. Basically, the gist of it is that um, Giselle, who who all like the past couple years was kind of adamant about, okay, Tommy, when are you going to hang it up? Now, mind you, they got money. Okay, she's literally the richest no. supermodel like in the history of, of supermodels, right? And but no, Giselle is literally the richest supermodel like yeah. there is. So money is not the thing. I get it's the love of the game, but you can't love the game that you much. And then here's the thing about Tom Brady. I understand he I want to play till I'm 45. Okay, you play, you're 45. We get it. Okay. But he he already accepted a deal with Fox uh, Sports Network, not Fox Sports Network, but like Fox the, the the main station to be a commentator for the uh-huh. NFL. So literally like what are you playing for? Yeah. You already proved you was the greatest. So, and, and you have a career lined up waiting on you. I don't want to see him go out bad like that. Not to the point where it's going to cost you your family. The price is too high, man. Exactly. Way, way too it's high. It's too high. And it's like, we've seen you play. You got your rings. Just be done. Yeah. Just be done. Go and go and get on that yacht, sail the world. You know, go do your travels. Yeah. Eat, cause that was the thing. That that was why he he's been able to have such longevity in the game is because he don't eat. He like he got a very strict diet that he's on, like the whole TB12 stuff. So it, it's yeah. just it's intense, man. But and especially because a, a couple like them, like you saw her like ride with him through so much. Like his his, his mom was sick. Mm-hmm. You know his career went a certain way, and even though he won a lot early on in his career, there was a, a, a string of of like you know there was a stretch of seasons where they were still like trying to fight their way to the top and then yeah. this new run of him like being the man again like this is all new then he left goes to another city which we like okay he gonna ride off into the sunset going to tampa bay wins the championship there which he like it, which is sure which is tough right and then you still want more more. I don't get it. More. And like I said, I don't. I don't know, dog. But like, it's just like, come on, man. I'm. I'm big on family. So like, you can do what you gotta do. But like, not if it's gonna cost you your family. And I. And I, from what I've seen about Tom, he cares about his family. So. Yeah. And like, like you were saying about caring about your family, that brings us to still on this topic, guys. But everybody is trying to figure out what's going on in these newer marriages mm-hmm. that's making them not last. And. To piggyback off what you said, like how you're talking about his wife, Giselle, women, not even just women, people are not tolerating certain things anymore. Mm -hmm. Like back in the old school days when our grandparents were married, people would They just stay together just to stay together. They would stay together for the kids. They would stay together just because we're not going to get a divorce. And then everybody down the street saying, ooh, had it and got a divorce. They're not, you know, yeah. they wasn't doing that back then. And Your granddad then, got a whole family on the other side of the town. Family. And it's cool. Gr- Granny is still make dinner for them. Exactly. They could come over for Thanksgiving. And it's still like, was what? married. Nowadays, nobody's tolerating that. Nobody's tolerating. If you're cheating, they're like, all right, well, I'm done. I'm not going to continue to do this. And they're not yeah. sticking it out for the kids. They like the kids to get over it. Because we're not going to stay in toxic relationships. I'm, I'm toxic not sticking households. around for this. They, they, I'm not about to be tied down. And, yeah. and, and again, it's to each his own, man. Yeah, you got, you got to do what works for you. Opinion. I just, you know, also I think that these marriages these days, we are more so doing it for the look yeah. and not for the love. Exactly. Um, exactly. It, it's, it's literally just to, to, to have the experience, have the pictures, and, and, yeah. and have this spectacle for everybody else to comment on and see. 
mm-hmm. and then not really investing in the actual like meat and potatoes of the marriage, which is exactly. like the spiritual connection and all of that. That is true. You know what I'm saying? Like like we were adamant in our uh, engagement leading up to marriage that like premarital counseling, because now now mind you, we a little different because like even in our like dating and like getting to know each other on a deeper level phase, like we, we talk conversations, like uh, the uncomfortable conversations that we you that them. people oh it's still too early I don't want to scare like nah like. It was like a job interview for both of us. Like she was asking me questions, I was asking her questions, and it was like, okay, there's compatibility there, right? Yeah. But and it's not just about being compatible because you will grow. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you grow at different uh, stages and 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 paces than than each other, right? But as long as you're committed to each other, and I think that's another key piece is the commitment aspect. That's the important part. As long as you're committed to each other, then you it will still line up and, and it will still like even itself out, right? Exactly. But you have to be committed. I think a lot of times we just like, oh well, I don't want to do this anymore. So uh, what's going on over here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you the, can't the, the grass is greener on the other side effect, and it's like yeah. eh. instead of watering it where you at. Exactly. You know, and, and then also I think that because um, I hear this too, you know, for, for wedding people, like, well, we don't want to be uh, traditional. We want to just uh, say our own vows, or we want to just write our own, or do and this. And people that. take God out of the vows. And and, and and that's what I'm saying too. I understand it's everybody's own beliefs because you got some people. I ain't getting married because I don't. It's just a piece of paper. It's like it's more than a piece of paper. It bro. really is. It's really a, a spiritual like covenant, a contract, if you will, that you enter in with God, right? And the, yeah, the the, the, the the business side of it and, and the paperwork, like, through the state and all that, fine, whatever. But that's the state. If, if you truly, like, are awakened and, and operate in the spiritual, like, light of things, then you'll understand, like, the deeper connotation. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily mean that, like, to, to Nisi's point, that you got to, like, ride it out if it's a bad situation for you. If, if that's what you feel you got to do, then, yeah, you, you got to look out for you. But... To some people who not even fighting for it or even fighting to be better and they just chucking their hands up like, oh, this is too hard. I don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to tell y'all, man. Yeah, just try a little harder. Work. Anything worth keeping, you got to work for it. Yeah. And, and, and look at me coming with the good. I see that. Good quotes. I see that. Look at you. Look <laughs> at But yeah, I, I told you, I looked at getting married like joining a gang, bro. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's we're here. <laughs> do the we're work here. to get in and stay in. <laughs> Do the work to get in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, we in this together, man. Yeah. Did you? We a team. What else did you have from that? Didn't you have? Was it another post? No, nah, that was it. Oh, the whole marriage divorce thing. Gotcha. Let's move on. That's negative. I want to speak a little positivity. So positivity. Finally, after like 15 years, we getting the the second uh, Black Panther film. Yes. It's coming out on Veterans Day, November 11th, and it's going to be, what is it, Suri? The sister is going to yeah. basically take on the mantle of Black Panther. That's amazing. That is going to be beautiful. Uh, the, the trailer for it is really good. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you. So you saw the trailer. Trailer is really good, and I already expected it to be good, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, because they still had the same guy who did it before. Ryan so Coogler. We, we already expected that it was going to come back in. Hot, heavy, and beautiful. You know, mm-hmm. it was just something. Hot, heavy, and beautiful. Yes, hot, heavy, and beautiful. That's black terms, baby. Black Panther. <laughs> uh, we have just been waiting on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just something because everybody was just trying to figure out what was the next step. Where was yeah. it gonna and go? And how and how were they gonna do it? Like as far as like how they were gonna pay homage to to Chadwick and then move it and, and advance it. You know, were they gonna recast? Were they gonna do this? Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. Hello. We see London's here. Hello. So the whole family has just, we went to the dentist. We all got our teeth all nice and clean. Look, say hello. We got our teeth all nice and clean. And then we did a little shopping for London. We went in Carter's. We didn't record in Carter's, so we just went shopping. Um, <laughs> now we're back home. We're going to eat a little food. And look, y'all, I did my hair some flat twists, so hopefully this, <laughs> this curls one. come out cute because we're going out. We're going out tonight. We're going to go ahead and hang with the family, do a little top golf action. Yeah. London is just a talking. So we're gonna check in with y'all later. Just wanted to give you a quick update what we was doing today. Say I see you later. 
Say bye. What's up, y'all? It's later on in the day. I'm um, starting to get ready. Starting to take my twist down. They're coming out. Cool. I did, told y'all I did the flat twist. So now I'm trying to see how it all comes out. And did my makeup. Shout out to my favorite YouTuber, Maya Galore. And for me being able to finally get it. Get the makeup the way that I want to. Um, eyebrows, I'm still practicing with the eyebrows. But it's almost there. It look good. All right, y'all. Let me finish checking out my hair and I'll check back in with y'all. Hey, y'all. What's up? It's later in the day. Y'all see? I took my hair out. That flat twist out came out really, really good. That's cool. And look, it's baby London. Say hi. Hello. What up, guys? We here, y'all. We um, finna head into Top Golf and hang out. We finna have fun. Let me show y'all. You can do it. What's up, y'all? So I'm starting to sweat. We playing. We having fun. It's hot. It is hot. So sweating. But the family's here. It's London and Grandma. Say hello. You gonna say hi? Good job. Then look over here. It's low. Low. What up, though? It's Misha and Mel. Hey guys, make sure you follow Slay Braids by the Queen. You already know. You're not if in you the light. If you need some braids right now, this way. <laughs> if you need some braids right now, you already know to go to Slay Braids by the Queen. Period. And then she over here taking pictures. She wants everybody to take her picture. And then. <laughs> you did exactly what I did. That's my third half. You, <laughs> you was talking about me. I know, that's my <laughs> <laughs> So, we'll check in with y'all in a minute. We're finna play some more and get some food. All right? What's up, y'all? We are on our second game. So, the first game, I only ended up getting 32. Uh, so, second game. I, I want to see well. the tape. They cheating. I only they got cheating. 16. I want to see the tape. Y'all cheating. Flag on the play. Review. Challenge. Yeah, so let me cut this off before they try to um, flag us because we got music playing. So we'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Ready? All right. I'm the winner again. But y'all can follow me at my Nia Tanae on YouTube. My Nia Tanae on TikTok. And my Nia Tanae on Twitter. 